Hey guys and welcome back to new video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to style your text fields just like this. And I will show you uh, all of these different types of styling for the text field. Be with me to learn it. Let's go. I'm Mohsen and in this new playlist, I started to learn you how to use Jetpack Compose to create powerful applications. Uh, let's see what you will cover in this video. Here I have a, a project. I have added a box inside this function and inside it uh, I have a text field, a simple text field with two icons, with a label text and that's it. And I have added one color as a sample uh, here and I will store it in the variable to use it uh, for different parts of uh, this let's install it on the emulator and uh, I will explain some other things here okay as you may know the text fields uh, has two modes focused and unfocused what does it mean before clicking is uh, on let's say unfocused mode and when I'm clicking is uh, on focused mode as you see, after clicking, the keyboard is open. This uh, indicator line uh, is uh, like thicker uh, with another color. And uh, this label is smaller and the cursor appeared here. So to have the style for uh, this text field uh, parts, different uh, features of this text field, I mean the icons the label cursor and everything for each of them we have these two modes so if you want to change the color of them you have to change for both focused and unfocused and you can have of course uh, different colors for each of them for example uh, i want to have let's say green color for this uh, icon when it's unfocused and when it's uh, on focused mode i want to have it red I can have this okay uh, I'm going to write uh, some colors for different parts of it then I will uh, install it and you will see the differences okay uh, first let me tell you that if you want to change the color of the icons you have two ways first here because you have uh, like the widget icon we can write here tint equals to my color and the color of the uh, icon will be changed uh, you can see it here red but uh, The other way is to use colors. Then uh, text field default dot. Uh, if you are using the normal text field, choose this. If you are working with outline text field, choose that one. Here. Okay. And now we can start uh, setting the colors on different parts. Okay, let's start with uh, on focus label color. Focus label color. cursor color and uh, beware that cursor color has only one type because uh, when it's on focus we don't have the cursor then uh, the text itself and uh, color then focus leading icon color
here I chose the ranking and focus indicator. Let me take it down. And here on focus. Just leading. Okay, on focus indicator color and let's have focus indicator color. My color. Okay. As you see, everything is uh, changed. Let's check it on the emulator for now. We have different colors. When I'm clicking, even the cursor has another color. And as you see, this uh, line indicator now has another color for both uh, focus and unfocus. And the text as well as the color uh, so that's it now let's change the color of the background here uh, container color and my color but look at here now i have a full red block because all of the colors are the same uh, before we had a feature that we could use it uh, to have default values default opacity values for some of these parts but uh, unfortunately is uh, like disabled now uh, so i'm going to give the values by myself in this case i can use the copy and here we can give some values alpha red green blue and something uh, the default alpha is 1f is a uh, flat type and i'm going to give it like this much this is let's say the default value for the container color for the background color and now you can see it's like that and also uh, in the default system this indicator line uh, also uh, in unfocused indicator line had like copy uh, and uh, 0.5 f opacity and now you can see uh, we have the default color okay, okay. Uh, we are done with the colors i think uh, let's work with the shape Oh, sorry, I forgot something. Uh, let me show you here. Uh, instead of this, I'm going to duplicate it. Comment this and delete this. And I can write color dot transparent. And it will be like this. Uh, this is one of the styles that I was telling you and also this indicator line uh, this one this and this also we can use the transparent and now let's check it Here it is. I just need to click on it and write anything I want. And let me put it back in the shape that it is. Okay, now let's uh, check the shape. Uh, let's start the rounded corner shape. 
and here I can give a value like 25 dp and it will be implemented on all of the corners of this text field just like that and again if you want uh, you can have uh, color transparent for these two the indicator and uh, this uh, line down below will be disappear and also we can have cut corner shape let's have it a bit smaller okay just like this and let me delete this Yeah, you can see that there is no line down below and here we have our text field. and also uh, as you see when I'm writing here only one value it will be implemented all around uh, this uh, text field uh, but if I want for example have cut here and here I can give a top star and top end here i can give the same value or different value no matter depends on you just like this and let me change it the same for the rounded corner shape Let's check it on the emulator. And it's like that. I'm clicking and writing. And if you want, you can have these indicators as well. That was everything that I wanted to tell you about the text field. Now you know how to customize it. Uh, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up for this video to give me energy to make more videos and uh, to help uh, this video be watched by more people. Please subscribe to the channel right now and hit the bell button to be aware about the new videos. And thank you for your time. If you have any comment, any suggestion, write down below please in the description. Uh, sorry in the comment box and I will be so happy to answer to your comment. Have a good time. Bye bye.